All right, guys. So we made the day three cut. Um, it was on Friday because we had a cance or moved up the tournament today. But I had 11 three the first day, at 12 13 the second. I was sitting in 23rd place, and I was primarily targeting spotted bass. I was using a combination of my diesel minnow, my zinker Z, and a shaky head with a finesse worm Z on it. And We'll go over them more in details, but I started on the same spot as I did day two, and I believe all those spotted bass were spawning that I was catching, those solid two pounders, and they just didn't replenish. So I spent some time there, caught a couple little ones that put in the live well for the time being, ran around, um, went over to my point where I'd be catching a bunch of a shaky head, went through that, didn't really get much going, and I just kind of bounced around and. I was able to fill out a limit. It was probably only six or seven pounds. It was nothing special. But like you'll see in uh, my day one and two videos, this was what played a big, big part of my tournament. It was a diesel minnow on a quarter ounce head thrown on. It's a rush. It's a 721. It's a medium heavy. And what I would do is make a real long cast with this, sink it to the bottom, and just crawl it back. Just tick in the bottom real slow and those spotted bass would just come over and just crush it they would didn't want it anywhere near their beds and they're very very aggressive that way so it worked out well for covering water but also catching those spawners that were in that six to twelve foot range when i was fishing the docks i was throwing a nico rig you can see this is the zinker and what I would do is I would put a nail weight in there. It was Eco Pro Tungsten. I was usually using a 30 second. I would shove it in there, put a little bit of super glue so it held it. And what's great about that is you don't need a um, O ring. That's that last tag is it's, it's super stuff. It doesn't come off. You could skip this way under the docks. There were a lot of times on the floats or on the dock themselves, the posts where they were spawning. That was on Seaguar, 10 pound Tatsu fluorocarbon. I was using Ardent Gliss braid. Um, it was either 18 or 24. I kind of mixed up on both of them. But that was skipped on a jackhammer, which is the 721 medium heavy. It was this good spinning rod combination for this and for the shaky head. Um, I go into more details on day two about that. If you want to look at the back, I'll put a link on it. But then, I guess it was with two hours ago in the day, I had probably six pounds. I was struggling, I was catching a lot of fish. I caught as many fish on day three as I had on day one and two. Just wasn't getting the size. Didn't have a fish over two pounds, so I made the decision. The water was clearing. Instead of fishing down by the dam where I had been, I decided I was gonna run back up towards takeoff, fish some of that dirtier water, see if I couldn't get a big largemouth. So, Basically, I was thinking to myself, like, what is, what's going to get a big bite? I kind of can't cover a ton of water with those baits, so I locked my old faithful in my hand. My jackhammer, this is the one I caught them on, the classic. You can see it here, it's green shad. It's got the razor shad trailer on it. Uh, and that combo right there is just, it's absolutely deadly. I catch a lot of fish on it, a lot of big ones. So I did it, I started covering some water, threw it up on a lay down, caught a largemouth, first largemouth of the week, didn't help me. So threw it back, kept working, and I would start catching spots on this thing. Then one or two helped a little bit, and I kept rolling, and there was this little secondary point that had a stump on it. And I could see the stump, it was probably sitting in three, four foot. I throw my chatterbait up past it and knock slack in it. I set the hook with my, it's a favorite rod. It's a phantom cranking, it's a glass rod. I've seen that one a bunch too. It's, this has been my combo here for the year. Um, but I caught my spotted bass, it ended up being my big one of the day. It was a little over two pounds and called me up to eight six. So it was a good tournament. I dropped down to 28th for the final uh, standing but now I have three top 20s I'm currently sitting in sixth place for angler of the year and we got St. Clair we got Cherokee Hartwell and Dardanelle left so 
We're not quite halfway, but we're sitting in a great position um, for making that FLW title championship, which is going to be on the St. Larger, which if you guys know me at all, I'm going to have spinning rods in my hands, I'm going to be throwing drop shot, dead rig, and all that up there, and I cannot wait. So it was just a combination of those favorite rods, Ardent Reels, and Z-Man baits that really I caught most of my fish on. So thank you for watching. Um, if you're in the market for some outdoor chairs, check out GCI Outdoor. This is the Road Trip Rocker. It's pretty cool. It's got a rocker built right into it. It's got little pistons in the back there. It's a great setup under my shore shade. It's real sunny out today, so it's nice having that. This is my captain's chair. It's holding all my baits for showing you guys. If you haven't seen the Z-Man binder, you can see I label them, put them all in there, keep them all in great shape, you know exactly where everything is. So, thanks for watching, and if you guys could do me a huge favor and subscribe, we're working on getting to 1,000 subscribers. And when we get there, or slightly before, I'm going to put a contest up, excuse me, in one of my videos. I'm going to do a big giveaway. We're going to get a bunch of stuff out to you guys for hitting that uh, milestone. So thank you for watching. Not a big one, but it's number one. I'll take it.
jackhammer. Go. That's my biggest spot <laughs> on the jackhammer. A little trade. Puts us up to seven and three quarters. Okay, a couple more will be maybe not dropping too much. 